GitLab, GitHub, Subversion, Flyway, Travis CI, Ansible, Puppet, Chef, Jenkins, GoCD, you know, Team City, Mocha, Jasmine, Source Labs, Ansible, uh, which I did it again, New Relic, Kibana, Jira, Slack. So these are some of the tools that are there in the market. Now it's humanly impossible for us to, you know, practice all these tools or practice each and every tool that is there in the market that gets released every in a week or something through us through some you know startup company so what i want to do in this video is i want to help you all to read the important tools that can get you a job in devops interview or you can pass a devops interview the pipeline that i've discussed in the previous video the first part of the pipeline it starts with git so if you do not know git no matter what you do or if you are even even a master in ansible you're not going to pass devops job you take my word for it so first things first, uh, we have to learn Git inside out, practice all Git commands, you know, how to do a pull request, how to resolve merge conflicts. So you should be a master of Git. Now, if you want to learn specific Git management tool, then if I go by the stats, so I have a, I have some stats here uh, from a website called Data Nice. So I'm going to put this uh, website link in the description. But they have provided a cool uh, thing about, you know, the market share of each technology. So going by that, I think GitHub, as per the website, GitHub is, GitHub has more market share than GitLab. So try to create a GitHub account and then play around with that. You know, um, try to uh, open source your code. You know, that that'll be a good start. So that's with respect to the source control. So if you remember the pipeline, the next important part, which is like the heart of the continuous integration or the heart of the whole DevOps tool chain is Jenkins, because you control how you want to deploy the code through Jenkins and uh, you control how you want to pull the code from Git in Jenkins. So you, you pretty much define all the orchestration steps, steps that you have to go through uh, for a pipeline. And there are a bunch of CI tools in the market. But again, as per the website, Jenkins still has a market share of 65.8%, uh, which is still a leader because obviously it's an open source when compared to the Team City or Circle CI and other stuff. Team City um, I've used it long back, but again, I've used Jenkins. So Jenkins so far is an undisputed leader in this in this CI uh, market. So so if you want to pass an interview in DevOps, you have to learn Jenkins. Learn inside out and you don't have to worry about any other tool. Now the third important tool, which I want to stress more on is Ansible. Now again, as per uh, the website here, Ansible has a market share of 26.5% when compared to Microsoft. Uh, we don't want to learn Microsoft, obviously. And the third is Puppet. Now you, you can either pick Puppet or Ansible, but again, going by the market share, it's better to always go with Ansible. It's a very easy tool. Um, instead of practicing both, practicing both Ansible and Puppet, I would rather stick to Ansible and practice more of uh, Ansible. So one of the uh, thing that you would do like one mistake that most people do is when you start learning DevOps, when you join any course. So what they do is they try to teach you 1% of all these tools. Like they teach Ansible, they te teach Chef, Puppet and stuff. But I would not suggest you all to practice every tool because you cannot be master of all the tools. I'd, I would rather pick Ansible and then practice more of Ansible, like how you use handlers, how to write custom modules in Ansible, you know, how can you integrate Ansible with Jenkins? How can you do configuration management end-to-end -end with, uh, with Ansible? Well, let's say in a scenario, a company, uh, when, you went, when you go for an interview, a company is using Puppet or Chef and they don't use Ansible. Um, I myself have attended a lot of interviews and I was very good with Ansible when compared to Puppet or Chef. Though I know, like I've said, 1% or 2% of each tool, I know the differences of um, them and then I also did some practice uh, on, on Puppet and Chef. But I was very sound on Ansible. So that helped me to pass the interviews, even though they don't know Ansible. But if you can explain how you can achieve the same thing that they can achieve in Puppet, that's what they look for in interviews. They don't necessarily look for what you have done inside Ansible or, you know, what is the exact code that you can write and stuff. That, that anybody can figure it out based on practice and then, you know, based on Google. So stick to Ansible and so we have covered Git, 
Jenkins and Ansible, the fourth important thing is learn at least one cloud technology. So again, the reason why I'm saying this is, you know, in DevOps, cloud plays an important factor too uh, as part of the whole infrastructure. And um, again, going by the market share, AWS has 55% market share or more. So we do not want to learn Google or Azure at this point of time. It, it's always good to learn. You know, once you've learned AWS, you can become a multi-cloud architect and learn other clouds. But start with AWS, learn AWS inside out. You, do, you don't have to learn all the services in AWS, which I'm going to cover in the next video. What are the important things that you want to learn in AWS? But start practicing there. And, you know, if you have that, you're pretty much like prepared for the interview. Like, you know, you, you are the guy that market is looking for. So uh, if I have to summarize again, the first thing is Git and Jenkins, Ansible for AWS. And fifth, most of the people, you know, they tend to neglect this is learn Linux basics. Because in every tool that you install or whatever you do, even you do Git, Linux plays a major role. So if you want to if you want to put it in the order, if even start with Linux first, even before you go with Git. So practice a lot of Linux commands, play around with Linux, know all the basic Linux commands, and then you know start and then start with Git. So these are the five important things. If you have done this perfectly, I'm sure you should be able to crack any DevOps job. And I hope this video is helpful for you. And if you have any questions on this, feel uh, feel free to comment. And I, I'm ready to help you guys. Thank you.